the game to see the boxing voice. BoxingVoice.com live here with Anthony, the dog, Darrell. How you doing today? I'm good, I'm good. Just ready, ready for Friday. So wh where's your weight at right about now? I'm on weight. What number? I mean, I'm on weight. <laughs> All right. How, how was this training camp? Uh, it, was, it, was, it was great. It was, uh, it was a hard training camp. We, we prepared very strongly, and uh, I, I'm ready. I'm ready for, for Friday. Now, obviously, it uh, may or may not be a little uncomfortable. I know that boxing is still a business having Caleb Truick next to you, but that is your opponent, and what do you think of him as an opponent? I mean, he's a great fighter. He, he's a rough and rugged fighter. He's going to bring everything out of me, and I'm prepared for that. I train, Like I said, I train very hard for this fight, and I know what he's bringing to the table, so I got to stay on my P's and Q's when I fight him. Uh, and I, I'm definitely prepared to get my hand raised at the end of the fight. Have you watched any tape on him? Recently, we've seen him in the ring with Danny Jacobs where he went a couple of tough rounds where he showed his tough, his true grit. Uh, did you happen to see that fight? Uh, yeah, he fought on the same card I, you know, I fought on. So uh, I definitely watched that fight. Uh, like I say, he's a true warrior. He's coming to fight. He fought Jermaine Taylor. He fought, he fought, he fought a few good guys. And uh, like I said, I can't hold my guards down when I fight him. Uh, I got to be prepared. And, that, and I am prepared to fight him. Now, what is your trajectory for this year? Obviously, you know, you were the WBC champion. Things happen, and uh, you suffered a defeat. I know you want to get back to the mountaintop. How does that look for the dog? Uh, I mean, he's looking great. First, I got to get past him. Uh, I'm not looking past him at all. I don't look past any opponent. And, uh, and a after this fight, I'll know more. But until then, I'm focused on this fight. Now, uh, what kind of sparring did you have for this fight? Any names that we might know that you brought in for this one, or you like to keep that confidential? I, I, it's a few guys. I have about five guys sparring. Uh, it's a few guys. I, I can't remember their name, but, I mean, like I say, we had tough tough work, uh, working six days a week, Sundays off, and, and we we ready. We ready for this fight. We ready to go in there and get this victory. The reason that I'm prying is, you know, I know you suffered the loss, so usually guys are on the comeback. You know, they, they're trying to do their best to uh, obviously get back to the position that they were in. So I'm just making sure, you know, nothing was changed in training camp or maybe something was changed in training camp uh, to get a different derail. Not too much changed because when I, when I lost, I fell flat. So it, not too much has changed, but we, we're just working harder. We're just working, you know, we got to get back. We got to get back to where we was. and. And that's going to take hard work, and I'm definitely doing that, and I won't stop until I get there, and I won't stop after that. Now, obviously, out of the two brothers, you're known to be the bigger puncher, and uh, right now, knockouts have and will always be what sells. Um, does that play in the back of your mind, or being from Flint, are you more Mayweatherist, and you're thinking the win is more important? No, I'm, I'm going. I'm always going for the knockout. That, that's what that's what people want to see. You know, they want to see knockouts and. I mean, of course, I'm from Flint, and we're trying to we're trying to definitely put Flint on the map, especially what's going on there now with the water crisis. We de we definitely want to bring awareness to that, you know, and tell people to help any way they can. So, but I'm de but this fight is definitely for Flint. You know, we're fighting for a cause right now. We're fighting to to get our voices heard for for the people that's in Flint. Tell us a little bit about that and how it's been for any of maybe you yourself or your relatives that are still living over there. Uh, it's bad. It's 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 lead. You know, when you hear it, you can't get rid of lead. It, it's uh, seven people in my family have lead poisoning from the water, and it's it's you can't like they can't get rid of, it and they're kids, they're small kids. So, I mean, we just got to make our voices heard with this fight and every fight after this that we need help in Flint, and it's not just the water. It's the jobs and the closings of school we need we need, really need help to get our city back on the map so is it your goal to get the win and use that post-fight interview to kind of use that as the platform where you can speak about this i mean definitely i'm gonna speak about it no matter no matter if i get a press uh post interview or not it's going to be heard and is we're going to do something about it when we have to we just can't let people suffer it's like we're a third world country and we can't have that in the united states so we definitely want to get that out there and get get it known that we need help well anthony i know it's fight week you know you got to make weight it's time to go so thank you so much for the time you know box of voice appreciates it thank you i appreciate it